It is officially about to be the final week of the regular season as we're going to be going up against the Steamers in Week 18, who we have talked about as a team that has lost a lot of close games. So this is not a team that you're thinking 3-12, and 3-13, and 13, whatever their record is, is, oh, they're easy. I Maybe they will be. Maybe they will be. But we have seen them go toe-to-toe with a lot of really good teams and barely win and barely lose games, a lot of them. Uh, of course, going against the Voyagers, we had a crazy one. I absolutely recommend you watch that. Even if you know the result, it was insane. Right at the end of the game, one of the most clutch plays I've ever seen in franchise history and was just unbelievable. But uh, let's head on to Week 18. Let's see uh, what this final week has in store for us. We might be able to take a better seating if we win the game. And, of course, do want to just guarantee that spot. You just never know. Some weird tie-breaking random procedure loophole. We've got more money than you. We've paid off the league office. Nonsense could happen. And, of course, Player of the Week has been achieved for Mr. Cunningham. We just talked about, ironically enough, the hot hand probably plays. Jadarius Lewis, the star dev rookie, just back from injury. However, how do you start a player that has sat so long and, quite frankly, been outplayed during the time he was gone, obviously. <laughs> Physically, you know, one-to-one, -one, one's playing, one's not. But the last couple of games that we had Cunningham in is easily the best football we have seen from any quarterback on this team. And until that ceases to exist and be true, he's going to be the starter. Obviously, if he struggles this, you know, this game or in the playoffs, he struggles and, you know, we need to bench him, so be it. This team is a, uh, you know, it's a collaborative effort. There's no one team bigger than, you know, one player bigger, bigger than the team. Uh, and, you know, at this point in pretty much everyone's career here, you know, like 95% of the players on this team don't make it on this roster. They're not making it in the NFL. So you kind of have to just take it with, you know, take the punches as they roll and really just do your best to get a roster spot. And if you can't have one, you better be a damn good team player because, uh, you know, we don't have room for players that aren't good enough to be starters and our bad morale. It's like, oh, you know, I'm way better than the quarterback in front of me, you know, whispering to some players. Like, I ain't going to cut it here. You'd be off the team, all right? But let's take a look at the Steamers, see if they have any injuries. We obviously do not. We are finally healthy. I uh, haven't really had many crazy injuries, and I know I'm about to jinx that, but uh, really just Jadarius Lewis for the most part, which is crazy, the timing. I mean, like... You just can't script the things that have happened in this series so far. I mean, you get star dev, and then you get hurt. Like, not only does that happen, but, like, he could have been injured slightly before that. Doesn't get the dev up at all. It's just insane. But Geno Smith, up and down. We've seen him do great things. We've seen him do dumb things. Uh, running back Javante Williams put up record numbers against us in the past. Uh, their fullback's a tight end. Wide receiver one is amazing. Michael Thomas, he's caused problems for us. I mean, both have, but... You know, it's a little more surprising at this point in uh, Thomas's career that he is able to still cook, but he has. DJ Shark, Allen Robinson, Chase Claypool, A.T. Perry, they've got a height problem. They have too much height. Greg Dol Dolchich, uh, I almost want to call him Dolchich. He's, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's uh, got a little bit of development. Left tackle's amazing. Left guard's amazing. Center's decent. Right guard's amazing. I already knew it. And then right tackle's decent. Hard team to, uh, to get pressure against, obviously. Left end's iffy, right end's iffy. DT is decent with high potential. Jalen Phillips is pretty good. Middle linebacker, got some speed. Middle linebacker, two is okay. Diablo should probably be the starter, though. Right outside linebacker, Thibodeau, you would assume he has a high ceiling. Cornerback, Gray Newsom, amazing. Uh, Elam, high ceiling. Ringo, high ceiling. Free safety, high ceiling. Strong safety, Madden Goat. What can I say? Uh, kicker's pretty strong. Punter is not Anders, Anders Carlson. He's the backup. Uh, both, you know, kicker, punter, 96 kick power. So not a whole lot of problems on this team other than maybe, ironically enough, quarterback. As far as the game plan, looking like they're about a middle-of-the-pack team uh, on offense, although they're scoring and their amount of turnovers is really bad. So we know what we do badly against them, and that's defend the run. So we're going to stop the run, and then we're going to attack their pass game. Apparently that's where they suck. I feel like... Yeah, I mean, they don't have the strongest defense, so in general, it's, it's, it seems like it might be an easy time. Uh, I think 
with Jadarius Lewis coming back, though, we have to pull someone off the list. I think it's going to be Rodriguez. He's already really good. And we're going to be focusing these quarterbacks, you know, and... Whoever wins the job wins the job at this point. You know, it's not Jadarius' fault, but that injury has, unfortunately, stolen his starting spot, realistically. We got some upgrades. Ronnie Shelton, the big man. The big man who is really just... Ever since he, you know, revealed himself as... <laughs> you never want to reveal yourself, okay? Especially at the park. But uh, as a superstar, he has been good. Uh, the morale is terrible. Is I'm not really sure what's going on with this morale. How do we... Well, let's see. Scheme fit. Where's the morale? How do we know? Maybe it's the health? It's not the health. His injury sucks, though. But the morale is so low, despite the fact that we're a winning team. Uh, Hen and Hooker, I mean, once upon a time, he was going to be the guy. I suppose we'll go strong arm just for the chance at deep accuracy and throw power. Which, okay, and not a very good upgrade. Awareness is terrible. I don't care. His awareness will never be good. And they're like, yeah, let's get that awareness up. Connor Wilson, obviously the safety is always going to be focusing on zone until, you know, we have a decent zone coverage rating for most of these guys, which as of right now is just not the case. 80 zone for Connor Wilson is actually not bad at all, to be fair. And then Jadarius Lewis, improviser, should be the best way to get his throw power, so we're hoping for that plus one, plus two. We don't get it. Under pressure plus two, though, is great. He's really good under pressure. Um, and then Malik Cunningham, is it more improviser? Throw power is not the biggest issue, so I actually am going to go deep. Uh, with strong arm to get that deep accuracy and still once again that chance at a throw power which he doesn't get he gets plus two to mid which once again is great you know 86 mid you know short and mid are going to be the most common throws anyways and we've seen him hit an absolute beauty of a throw deep anyways so not the worst upgrade i've ever seen but let's hop on in for the final game of the regular season and if this is a, you know, really easy game, you know, it's like a blowout one way or the other, we'll do the stats and awards in this one. If not, there might be a little bit of a delay between this episode and the next. But if we get 200 likes, I'll do the stats and awards and the first, hopefully, of many playoff games on Saturday. So a little bit of a, you know, it's a little bit of a buffer, but there will still be videos in between or maybe, you know, a rebuild a little later today. A rebuild tomorrow and then once again Saturday we'll have this uh, the playoff game and probably a Bears playoff game so we'll have a we'll have a lot of content just a little bit of a buffer maybe between uh, the next Bison's video regardless though let's head on in and here it is no snow game have we had snow in this franchise series so far I think maybe once perhaps obviously a lot of cold weather but uh, here it is, Joe Moran, 1288 for receiving yards, 12 touchdowns. Maybe should have looked at, you know, there's some milestones we can hit. But I'm just going to assume that, you know, throwing to Morant's going to be a good idea. And running the ball is a good idea for Rodriguez. So it's really about it. I don't think Bell's done enough. Shorter, maybe. But there's really not any, like, milestone that's going to be like, oh, we must do this for, like, 50 yards and we're good. Although I'm probably going to regret it. I'm going to come out and be like, no, we need 10 more yards. If only I knew. But... Uh, yeah, just win the game. Why not? We don't even care about, you know, what seeding we can get at the end of the day. Ten wins is better than nine. And, uh, you can get injured on the first play of the playoffs, or you can get injured here. Or because they sat for the whole game, they get injured in the first game, in the, you know, first moment of the playoffs, because they're rusty. So, we're just going to play it. We're just going to, you know, it's another game. Another, another chance to win. And is that guy wearing underwear outside of his... Yeah, okay. There we go. He's got undergarments on. It looks kind of weird, no? Like, who who came up with that design? Or is that the undershirt going all the way down? I don't even know. But actual superheroes out here. That's what it looks like to me. Geno Smith. 23 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. I mean, that's about exactly what I expected. I'm not even going to lie. That's what I expected. Am I crazy or does that just look a little weird? It just looks a little strange. But... Here we go. Starting off this disaster. What a tackle, but Ronnie missing that. I don't know how Ronnie even got in there, but Ronnie missing that is a little disappointing because, I mean, that was like the perfect storm of tackle for a loss, and we still didn't get it, which tells me with this offensive line, we're not going to have many plays like that as he's still going. That is not a first down, by the way. Javante Williams, an amazing play to get that first down, but apparently... Uh, uh, the refs have vision problems. I look back, and apparently it is I that has vision problems. He actually got it before the tackle. Ball kind of crossed the line pretty easily, actually. And there we go. There we go. 
Three yards stoppage. That is backwards three yards. Heavy dose of run. Hopefully that'll slow him down a little bit on the run defense. And over the middle, and yeah, that's just going to be a burn. And once again, Allen Robinson, I believe, just confusing me, thinking he's a tight end because he's kind of on the taller side. And we had Cam Jones going up against a damn wide receiver. Nice. Carl Brooks, Ronnie, anyone? Jackson had a dive. Javante injured. Could be a massive injury here. Looks like it might be for a few plays at best. All right, who's the backup running back? I don't even know. It looks like it says Harris. I usually don't pay attention to teams' backups because we never have to face them. And that's a good play, even though it should have been a lot less. It is Damian Harris. Figured it would be. They're not really throwing the ball much, and they really haven't needed to. And it goes a free rush. Walt James. The play action doesn't work, and it's going to be a punt or a very long field goal. Let him cook. This punt is actually pretty decent. I did kind of feel like there was a chance that I could have bounced outside, but it actually bounces in. It works out for us. Cunningham's numbers, they should be looking a little bit better than they were when he stepped in for Jadarius Lewis. 19 touchdowns, 11 interception, 2,400 yards. I mean, you double those numbers, which is kind of what he missed. 38 touchdowns, 22 interceptions is not bad. Right at the middle, going to be running the ball. And we're going to find a little crease for four. I really did not feel like four. That is what she said. Holy. That was like the ultimate one. That was that was a good one. Read option. They're not on it. And Cunningham to the outside is going to get caught. Elam barely had him. I felt like it was go inside, maybe get two. Or go outside and get the first down, potentially. And it didn't really work out. That's going to be a little bit of a late throw, but it gets there. Devondre in you know range so i was like i'm just gonna catch this let's just possession at 17 yards great throw great play a lot of quirkiness in this playbook so uh you know be careful that's all i gotta say be careful nice block and a little bit of pressure latu the hero of last week with a big play this week for 23 and i do actually want to run the ball a little bit but i'm not really i'm not really digging the run plays be honest with you I'm not really digging them that was a decent play because the way they lined up another four yards but Nothing really crazy going on. This stretch looks, uh, you know, all right. The play action is really nice, too, so if you really want to get out of it, which we probably should have because apparently Jalen Phillips is one of the greatest run stoppers of all time. He went through, like, 45 players to get to us. Did we just take too long to get the ball handed off? Because, like, he broke through, like, three block sheds by the time I even had a chance to really do anything. Shorter to the outside. And does enough for the first down. Shorter clutching up on these thirds. It will be a first down. Going with the RPO. Shorter. I like the way it looked. Nice. I don't know what it is. Can we get the juke? Nice juke to the four. I don't know what it is about Shorter, but he just has the best RPO game. I don't know if teams just are like, ah, he's never going to have the RPO. I'm going to go to the fullback here, I think. I'm going to get sacked, I think. We love a good sack. What? Fade option for Shorter, maybe. Oh, they're on us. And should have threw that away. It'll be another sack. All right. Do not ask how we have one timeout. Things got wild. Inside throw. Don't want to actually run. Oh, please. No! We just made an insane play. We missed the throw. I tried to set the feet. It didn't happen. Oh, that should have been a touchdown. That was a sick play. That was just wasted. It's almost impossible to step into the pocket without getting sacked because it seems like they just auto shed. But to get away and get a throw is even more impossible. And of course, it's like, did you want a nice hit? Did you want to continue running while throwing? It's like, no, we literally stopped. Now his leg is injured. They've got some injuries piling up here a little bit. Michael Carter's going to be in on the game for the run. Oh, nice move by Brooks, but it will be a quick throw. First down. That non-touchdown hurts. It is not a common sight to be able to extend the play the way we did. Step up, Walt. Nice. I get it. You step up, and it's actually a run and, you know, or a pass, and you're like, uh-oh. I've done a bad, but I felt like that was pretty obvious, right? And great hit, but yet and again, another first down with perfect blocking. Both injuries uh, for the steamers are just kind of like in-game injuries. Both probably will return. Don't know how long, but they will return. Nice hit. 
Damon Harris showing off a little bit of power and then ran into a wall. We get in there, another great set of blocks, and we are just getting smoked. Great hit. Javante Williams uh, surprisingly put up a lot of yards with us. When realistically, I mean, you look at Damian Harris, I think they're about the same speed. So I don't know if there's just like an agility thing, but Damian looks slow there. I mean, there's some lanes. Yet, you know, Javante put up all those yards against us that one game. Well, pretty much every game to the outside. Pretty good coverage at least, but another five yards gain. And second quarter, they're looking like they might take the lead after this drive. Looking at the numbers. I mean, similar, but we get the ball at half. And of course, we had a touchdown, but the feet weren't set and it was gone. That really sucks. Oh, right in behind. Good tackle by Riley to the seven. Kind of our fault, but I seen, uh, you know, Jackson was to, to drop back there. So I was like, you know, bait? D-lineman bait? He's pretty athletic. Why not? And why not? Because he's not fast enough. Walt James went low early. Oh, wow. Nice. The old knee to the helmet trick. I like it. Sort of popularized by uh, Mr. CTE himself. Kind of. Sounded like I had it there after that. And what a hit on the fullback, tight end, whatever you want to call him. Back to the four. And I don't think you really do well at the goal line in passing situations if you're not coming with some sort of heat. And we are on him, but that will be a touchdown. Steamers take the lead. Special teams has been pretty damn tame, I can't lie. Kind of want to go with the dive and then quick throw out if it's there. I don't know if I would say it was there, but Morant will take it for four. Nice little truck move. Genuinely, though, like how do you stop like a Mike Evans in a play like that? Like the size is just too much, no? That's what she said. Uh, Rodriguez. 16 yarder. We love to see it. Finally, a little bit of movement. Uh, I kind of want to run this, but like run it to the right. And see if we can get a double on Phillips. Hopefully, Koontz goes to him. Nope, he left him. Oh, better than. And Rodriguez got room. What a beat. Tries to juke outside. Gets to the 20-yard line. Koontz with the smart call. Didn't go for the double team. Went deep. Great blocking. Stretch back left. Uh, I don't know if I feel great about it. The play action could be good, but we'll see. Oh, they converge wrong side. That's going to be a big play. Could be a touchdown. What a beat. Juke move, doesn't really work. Double team to the four. Rodriguez drive, really. Now it's Tyler Beatty to come in and maybe steal the rewards. We'll see what happens. Inside handoff, nice little block. Gains a yard at best. Get the fullback lead. Uh, maybe the stretch, we'll see. Oh, my. Does he have no outsiders? If he does, then okay, fair enough. He must, surely. He does. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, I'm an idiot. What can I say? Beatty? Is Beatty even, like, covered? That's a late throw. But, well, he got killed. But in general, it was never going to score. Even if I threw it off the snap, he gets caught. That's going to be a field goal again. It did feel like pressure was getting there, but I think if we waited a second longer, we would have had shorter. But it is what it is. Oh, my Cam Jones is dead. Oh, come on. Look at these blocks. It does not take much to be a professional running back behind this line. I'll tell you that much. You know how those, like, can you gain a yard on the ground with, like, 10 rushes for a million dollars? Normally, I'd say no, but behind this line, I mean, I can get you a whole touchdown on the drive. I'll be honest with you. I mean, look at their freaking wide receiver. I mean, I'm putting up 200 behind this line. I'm just going to be honest. And that's a conservative number, of course. Oh. It, oh, my God. God, my ankles. Oh, my God, Carter, please. I mean, I got linebackers in. I got DBs, too, though, to be fair. But still, I got linebackers. Oh, it was a perfect jump, too. How do we not swat that? Got the reaction time of, like, uh, like a dragonfly. Or like a hummingbird. Good job. Jackson got to do better than that, though. While James holding up a lineman is great. Jackson not taking him one-on-one. -on -one, not so much. Oh, Lord. I know this will be freaking great. Oh, please! Oh, and he holds on! They have not missed yet! We do need to apply some pressure. Not only to stop the run, but in general, just to... Just to stop them from succeeding in the pass game. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. And then Wilson misses the tackle. One-on-one. -on -one. Went for a hit stick because we're not tackling for crap. Carter all the way to the three. There is not a player on the planet that is not putting up 10 yards per carry behind this line. And back of the end zone, but picked! It was too shallow. Want to beat? Does, but Dolchich will be there. 
Riley Moss. Couple of interceptions over the last few weeks, and we have ourselves a stop. Hell, an incompletion. This is one start. All in one, Riley Moss playing shallow. Gino in a little bit of trouble. Maybe an ill-advised throw. He was open, but didn't get enough air on it. And Riley trailing Michael Thomas gets the pick. Right place, right time. And on top of the stop, we have ourselves a little bit of a chance to score again before half. Field goals could hold the lead. Oh, he's open. Oh, no. That would have been bad. He's open, but they got insta-rush with a running back blocker. I love it. A little bit better than uh, assigning uh, a whole receiver, basically, to a block assignment and not getting said block. It's fun. Rodriguez gains about five, maybe six. Got ourselves a couple of, you know, hitch-type plays, but we also have Morant on the drag. Might be the safest look. Oh, no. Oh, good play. Let's be real. Morant was always going to be the number one on that play. No matter how it looked, we were throwing to Morant. Let's be real. Let's just be so for real. All right, guy falling at the line. And that's not a bad throw. Morant dropped it. What a jump, but not a good catch. My favorite part is when the players teleport. Could have inside leverage here. Safety moves over, but I still think it's there. Maybe not. Cunningham, gonna gain about nine. Gonna hurry up to the line. It's a weird spot because third and one, you don't want them to get the ball back, but I feel like with the punt range, it's not the worst thing in the world if we had a punt. I'm gonna take that. I think he's on that. And Dan Bell doesn't even really try. It's a risky decision to maybe go for it, but I think with that little bit of time, if we had all three timeouts, I'd give it a thought. Without the timeouts, I think it's I think it's a halftime score of seven to six. Could have done better. Only needed a little bit of yards, and I ended up taking it all for no reason at all. To the 13. I mean, realistically, this should be a conservative moment for them, but we'll see. From the 13-yard line, let's see if they make something happen. Of course, if they try to run it and they get, like, an extra yard. That's a dumb decision by Geno, and the punt's a great one. Geno Smith just wanting to play DB, I guess. To the 15-yard line. Terrible read. Is this what happened last time, by the way? Like, they just made a bunch of bad reads, and that's why we won? Either way, let's make this count. Not the best route, but it's shorter. Holds on, but it's not a touchdown. I would love to challenge that, but I can't. What a catch. All right, quick look. Let's see what we got. Looking for the first person open. Beatty, touchdown. Nice, beautiful. Coons maybe with a quick throw, but he would have gotten contacted. And that is an astronomically bad decision by Mr. Gino. I don't know why they wouldn't tell us to go for it right now. This is like the most morale we're going to have. The best like momentum. And they're on that. Holy insta rush. And, uh, you know, maybe things were skipped and we don't have a halftime show. What can I tell you? Halftime show is overrated anyways. Forbes. Kind of telling you, you know, what's a halftime? About to just... Come out with the highlight right away. It's going to go Verts. I think uh, Koontz is pretty free. Maybe not. Good blocking. And we're going to take off again with uh, Cunningham, the little man. Six-yarder. Flexion left looks decent, but we're going to run the ball. And that is, I mean... I went left because I just didn't think that we were going to be able to fit through the hole there. That is absolutely what nobody said. Quick throw to shorter. Depends on how that DB plays it. Not on it. And that works out for them somehow. Uh, I'm not really sure why we're not blocking, but sure. Fourth and one. I have went for fourth and one from tougher. So we're going to be going for this. I don't care what anyone says. Let's see what we got. Let's see it. The late throw. Please go out of bounds. Ugh. I mean, it's a turnover on downs regardless. They actually covered that pretty well, no? And a couple of options that might have been slightly higher percentage. Like just throwing a Koontz, hoping he catches it, or a quick throw to Beatty. Maybe he's a little bit more open. Good tackle, I suppose. Um, but yeah, they played it pretty well. Maybe I could have ran the ball. They had a bunch of linebackers up. I actually thought it was going to be an all-out blitz, which is why I went with like kind of quick, quick throws that usually beat like blitzes. But no, nope. they bluffed us out, and that's a good rush. <gasps> I kind of panicked. Cam Jones injured. That's not good. I switched off as we would have probably had a pick. Screen. Oh, there we go. Good D. Threw that pick. Turned the ball over, but that's fine. Kind of just got to the punch quicker, really. Like, they've been 
pretty good driving on the field, so. I know they only have seven points, but turnovers has kind of been their issue. Which they could turn the ball over at any part of the field, obviously. But that'll be a field goal. Up by two. What a score. Back to the ground. Do have that, you know, RPO back over if we want it. Which I maybe should have taken. Pretty good blocking. Rodriguez. Nice. First down. Thank you, Phillips. Kind of feel like when you have that one-on-one -on -one with the DB, the best way to go about it is to juke right. It's the best way to break the tackle, it feels. If you go inside, they almost always cut you off. Doubling Phillips for good reason. And Phillips almost gets it. And that time maybe because of leverage should have went inside. Some decent blocks. Some good uh, maneuvering. Morant might be nice here, but I'm going to go with that run again. And nice blocking again. Oh, that time it worked inside. 11 yards again, pretty much. Three straight times. We got some linebackers up, but I don't really think this bodes well for them. I think we just outrun everyone to the left. And not wrong, as Rodriguez is looking a little tired. I think fresh Rodriguez gets a first down there. Does this count as like an outside run? You would think it would. Oh, our guy just blew it. I don't know why the second tight end doesn't make that play and he just misses. Drag for Mr. Bell. It's kind of like the hot route here. Not even kind of, it is literally the hot route. That's why it is red. And I wish, wow, what a catch. I wish he went in that a little bit south, uh, more shallow. A little more shallow would have been uh, nice there, sir. They are on that RPO, so pretty much forced to just take a beating. We're going to go to that play action. Fullback. Didn't really sell it too well for him, but he does a nice job slipping off. Seven yards, why not? I don't think Cunningham's been bad at all this game. The yards are a little low for sure, but the pick is just a, you know, a bad read. And that is a bad throw, but... Kind of got happy feet in there. Field goal puts us at, back up by five, but fourth down, we extend the drive. Do you trust the RPO slash just, you know, force into the wide receiver? And the receiver misses. Oh, wow, another, another drop too. What is Ronnie Bell doing? Genuinely. Is this dude just like forgetting what his assignment is? Like, where is he going? Wait. Just wait! Or is that what he's supposed to do? Is he supposed to leave the guy wide open to get blasted? Is that the game plan? Like, I genuinely don't understand. Those who don't understand why our linebackers are constantly getting hurt now. Oh, burn, speaking of. Backup linebacker. Orgy, cooked. Maybe should have just taken the points. Oh, there goes Javante back in as well. Good teamwork. Breaks off the first tackle, but luckily we had group effort. Running the blitz, hoping that we just get in there. If it's a run, we have a better chance to stop it. It's a pass. We are done for. What can I tell? There is nobody winning their matchups. One-on-one -on -one tackle misses. A.J. Brown, game leader. They picked up that blitz like it literally didn't exist. It just it wasn't even a real blitz. Oh, they let... How? Put him on his ass, bro. There's two linemen going against him, and... They can't get him to the ground? At least Beatty's going to pick up some. About nine. How are you not getting him to the ground? Only damn read option in this playbook. Last time we gained, like, a yard. So I figured, hey, another yard. Nice, more yards. Cunningham with the terrible dive in again. Last time we ran this, Morant was kind of open. There's no one back there, but I suspect that... Oh, maybe not. We're in trouble. No one really open. And now our left tackle's injured. There are some injuries in this one. Holy. Maybe you do start pulling players. I mean, the hell's going on? Let's go back to the ground, I suppose. Beatty. Linebacker drops back. Wow, that guy diving almost made a play. Three yards is still nothing anyways. Kind of double moves inside. Kind of forced the bell, but it does. Wow, what a try. Inches. He tried to, like, jump hop over. Dislocated shoulder, that's not fun. Do we trust a heavy formation? Can I get the fullback just blocking? No? Okay. And Rodriguez is... I'm not sure. I don't know. Gonna get it, apparently. Wow. Our own lineman kind of blocked us off. I couldn't get in. And we just barely... And the freaking lineman turns around. I'm genuinely shocked that we got that. That was so close. Double move. Or not double move, double team. 
Actually going to throw it back, and Morant will actually get a lead block shorter first down. Thankfully, because the last couple ones we did were terrible, and it's ironic because it comes after me saying, shorter is the best on those. They just never get to them. It's like, well, are you sure about that? Because they just got to them a billion times in a row. But as you've seen those numbers, I mean, we're leading. We're definitely leading. We just need to uh, to finish drives with scores. And Rodriguez showing off the speed. Look at him go. And gets a stiff arm. The guy relentless in his pursuit. 15 yards gained, though. A lot of running this game. A lot of running. Coverage has been really good. Blocking has been a little iffy. Oh, that's a terrible throw. Terrible throw. Kind of a bad decision, but that throw is awful. That ball needs to be inside, and he just lofts it over to Elam. That's free for them. Although maybe I should have threw it a little sooner. I don't know, dude. Their coverage has been insane this game. And now all of a sudden they're in, in the zone, and we can literally see nothing. Good D. Good run D. Javante, I don't know if that injury is really hurting him, but 7 for 20. Not great. I believe us to be in main coverage, but, you know, with who? And the, my, I, thank God he didn't run to the right. Orgy just, like, sees him running, and he's like, I'm going to step back. I'm like, no, you're not going to step back. You're going to step up. Do that. I believe we have the running back one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no. And he holds on. Oh, come on. We got torched at the worst time. I just can't believe their coverage. That's really the big thing. Nothing else has surprised me. Their O-line has been amazing. Expected. Their uh, their D-line has been pretty bad. Expected. But their coverage being a lockdown? That was not on the bingo card. I'm just sorry. Nobody had that. Nobody had that. If you did, you made money today. Tight ends wide open. Thankfully, he went for the possession. Gives us a chance on third and three. Nothing's worked, but like I said, at least with a blitz, you have a chance. Quick throw inside, and he's going to be short. Fourth and one, what do they do? I go for this if I'm them. Hell no, I'm not believing this is a freaking punt. And even if it is, it's going to be a pins-type punt anyways. We'll drop Wilson back just in case something weird goes on. It's a fake, and it works! We just pulled Wilson off, too. Wilson was literally standing right where they just went with the fake. There's no way. Unbelievable, dude. Of all the calls. And it goes for a pick anyways. No shot. Geno Smith is an all-time seller. I was literally about to say, of all the plays, it is a very, you know, 3-13 and 13 type play. Risky dropped, of course. 28th ranked in points allowed. They've given up 11 today. 11. It's no stranger things. Although our scoring is, I can't lie. Quick throw to the outside with shorter. Gonna throw that out to him. Truck? No, oh, wow. Opposite of truck. It's slammed. And I remember they had Greg Newsom. I just, I can't believe that they're doing this well. Run should be clean. Oh, they haven't got bodies in here. Gotta say, something about Rodriguez, man. He just seems slow right now. But hey, a first down's a first down. If we had the field goal before, it would have been two-point game. Field goal wins it, but instead it's five minutes left trying to win the game. Nah, maybe should have taken him. Keep running. Oh, nice catch. Bad throw. Eight yards. Gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan of how Cunningham has played today. Not all on his, you know, on him. Definitely not the Cunningham I'm used to. And that is Latu. That, it's not a good throw, but Latu's got to catch that. Number one pass offense. We have 131 yards today. Don't get me wrong. Some of it is because the run game has just been great. But a lot of it has just been lockdown plays and just mistakes on our end. And there, I just felt like with the way they played off, no matter what, we're getting that first down. And I was right. Morant played that like absolute garbage, but still easily a first down. Zig is wide. They don't want to cover it. I'll take the five. I don't think accuracy has been necessarily bad. I don't. I think there's been a couple of bad throws, but overall it's just been great coverage. Running backs open. Another dump down. Dump off, typically, is what they, people call it. But even on that play, they didn't blitz, yet they, caught, they torched us. I just have a feeling that Morant's going to torch on this line, and I'm not going to know what to do with it because he's going to come back to the ball. Yeah, maybe not. That is ridiculous coverage, and I'm kind of glad he missed the throw. Elam is not that good a man. I just don't believe that to be the case. 
From the 33-yard line, screen pass. Easy. Nice cut back. Trying to reach over. It gets about nine. Going left, makes it a third and three. Going inside, gave us the chance at the first down. I don't hate it. I think that was a smart decision. Trap play with this many players up is risky, but it feels like we usually get our best blocks on traps. And we get enough. That is not inches. He easily got it. Unless they're going to count after the fact. I would like to challenge this. I'm challenging it, simply put. Clock's running, which is very interesting. Are they going to count that as forward progress? Like, we were clearly stripped around and turned around. Should be a first down. Okay, whatever. Will not let me review this. Fullback dive. And he gets it. Big fella, Springs. I mean, I got to give it up to Springs. He has had a couple of plays today, but in general, he usually does fall forward. Got to give that to him. Need a yard? He probably is your best. Boom. First down. Koontz. Haven't really seen him much today. Haven't really seen the pass game in general much today, fair. Can't wait to learn that we were just short on a couple of receiving milestones because we can't freaking run. We can't throw the ball today. Oh, there's some good blocks. Had to cut that hard left because uh, they had a little bit of leverage on those inside plays. I also feel like this has just been a super long game. Am I crazy? Am I crazy to think this? Slowed down to pick up the block. Rodriguez finding a yard somehow. I don't know how, but he did. I mean, this is obviously all or nothing. We have uh, one timeout. There's like 40 seconds left. That's why I'm just trying to drain the clock. And we can't get the ball off. Oh, no. I mean, stopping the clock really does nothing for us, so. The only thing it does for me is make me decide a better play because the clock is running and it's kind of making me nervous. And the more I think about that clock, it's making me more nervous. I'm calling timeout. I don't like that play. But, yeah, I mean, there's really not much saving that clock does for us. This looks interesting. Yeah, Ronnie Bell deep. Got to get a block, obviously. You have Morant. I would like it for this to be inside, so I have more room to throw this to the corner, get that first down, touchdown. And then you have Coons hopefully opening up Bell. Let's see. Not really. Morant! Hit it! No! Cunningham sold! Morant wins that route. He wins that game. And Cunningham might have lost the job for the playoffs. I'll be fully for real. Why are they running the ball here? I guess they have no reason to really win, so... I guess I'll call a timeout in the hopes that they make a mistake and... Okay, yeah, I don't know what... Game just bugs out when there's a timeout. I think there's three of them or something, but... In the hopes... That maybe we force the fumble, but... We lose 17-12. to 12, Really ugly, low-scoring game. I mean, it's about, you know, time, really, and uh, it was bound to happen sooner or later. We were going to have one of those games that was low-scoring because everything seemed to be high-scoring, but... Yeah, their, uh, their pass defense was locked down, and Cunningham missed some throws. The pressure was there a lot of the times, and I, I their defense is underrated, man. They have a really good defense, and obviously that offensive line did what that offensive line does. Geno tried to give us the win. I don't know who's paying Geno 100 k per game to choke and you know give the, the first pick overall, but somebody definitely is, as uh, he tried to lose that game for them. I swear he did. Definitely played way better than Cunningham, though, and uh, that fake punt was kind of crazy, even though they threw a pick right after. Rodriguez, 144 yards. I ran the ball as much as I could. I mean, it was just like it was time that the run game was over because the clock was too low. Uh, and then looking at shorter, 84 yards. Bell, 25. Brown, 96. Morant had 2 for 12. Unbelievably bad. Koontz, 1 for 10. I can't believe how good they were in coverage. It was actually insane. Forbes, two picks. Maybe gets a breakout for the playoffs, if we're even in them. M Riley Moss with a pick. Clark with a pick. And Elam with a pick. I wouldn't call that an exciting game, but it was definitely a close one. So uh, Stats and Awards will be its own video. Go pretty in-depth deep with you know in depth with that anyways. Probably be like a 20-some minute video. Then we'll have the playoffs later in that day, assuming we get that 200 likes, which I guarantee we will. Uh, Terrence Williams, really quiet this season, which is a good thing because uh, you know he's a rookie lineman, and it's a lineman in general. You don't want your lineman... You don't want his name to really be known, to be honest. Um, but Elijah Hicks, upgrade. Pretty damn slow, got to be honest. We need a new free safety. Speed is a problem. Two to zone coverage, but man, 88 speed. I don't care if he's got 85, 75 zone. He is so slow. It is brutal. But let's go to the wild card round. I mean, this should be a playoff berth, right? We should have the division. And we do. Weak link and first of many. I imagine the weak link is going to be the defense, but... 
The Thunderbirds. It's going to be a prime time guy, uh, game as well. I am pretty damn excited. We, what seed are we? The fourth? Fourth seed? The Condors are at seven. So no one in this division besides us made it. And we were two teams, nine and eight. So the Orbits needed the division. That's crazy. Nine and eight. A lot of nine and eight teams. And uh, the Condors were the last seeded ones. This uh, NFC is kind of strong. Four, five, six, seven. Kind of crazy. What about the AFC? There was an eight and nine team that made it. Kind of wild. Kind of wild. But of course, Stats and Awards will be the next episode we do of Bisons. And then that playoff game against the Rio de Janeiro Thunderbirds. We'll have to look at our uh, scenarios as well and see if we have any upgrade points with the strategy. This is going to be a good one. If you guys enjoyed this season and this episode, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I do appreciate getting support on the channel. Follow me on Twitter, John Picare. Second channel, Picare Plays for non manic content. Should be a rebuild a little bit later today. A rebuild tomorrow. And then Saturday is when things will kick off for the rest of this Bison season. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 